Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign, which is basically legendary Iron Man on ultra steroids uh, with quite a few extra enemies, double enemy size, yellow alert and uh, a better advent for better enemy strategies. So this is going to be a hardcore kick the teeth in uh, and Saiken will definitely lose type of campaign but we're going to give it the best fight that we do have and are trying to uh, yeah get as far as we can. Today we're uh, still in the first month uh, so it's time for Operation Steel Prince where we're trying to get Kelly Crawford a scientist as well as uh, Roby and Divert, uh, who are apparently on the mission helping her. And we get 100 intel on top of it. This is a fantastic mission. If we could score this one, it would be great. Make no mistake, the lost here are not a pushover. I mentioned it at the end of last mission, that they will be much stronger than the normal losts. Uh, we have no headshot uh, as a mod installed, so that essentially will prevent us from killing them uh, and continuing our rampage so it's really going to be one kill after one kill after one kill and a really long firefight i therefore bought a med kit we got medical protocol on grell so i'm hoping that we can stay in the fight for a little bit longer we got dual uh, uh, firing action from demon we got uh, the highest damage weapons that i could find uh, shotguns and heavy or lmgs in this case so Sonar, Toxic, Grell and Demon are going to go on to this mission in the hopes of uh, hopefully getting both of uh, the uh, soldiers out and of course the VIP. Let's see how well we're doing. The last one was flawless, that uh, was a good mission, but let's not get too cocky yet. It is going good, but it can change any moment. All right, look at that, we just landed. Time to kick it off and I'm wondering how these losses are going to turn out. <clears throat> we got uh, the World War Z mod installed which will introduce a wide variety of loss and we got uh, the better advent mod installed which also introduced quite a few. All right, thank you, Bradford, which also introduced quite a few extra enemies. So we got Divert over here uh, on the ground. Those new, uh, those new kind of, uh, uh, those new modded uh, health bars are a bit cheating because you already know where uh, the other uh, soldiers will be. Uh, let's look for the other one, Roby's over here. Okay, so I would say, as a plan, instead of just going here, let's try to get Roby, then go for uh, for the target, and then get out of here. Or, alternatively, we're actually going uh, with Demon uh, towards Roby, because Demon has a lot of mobility with uh, the grappling hook. And everybody else goes uh, to the target. We'll keep concealed as long as possible, which also means don't jump through the windows uh, that do have glass next to them. Oh, that's a very safe way of losing concealment right off the bat. Good, so far so good. The loss are definitely active here. And keep in mind if we are staying concealed, the losts and, um, and Advent will start attacking one another. Typically Advent has the upper hand, but with a no lost, uh, no headshot mod from the lost, that might change quite a bit. So we need to go through here and then all around that building complex. Grell moves up. Just double checking that demon doesn't run into 
into anything. Obi is all the way up there. Okay, cool. I will move. Wait. Are those humans? Ooh, look at that lost brood. During the first invasion had a degenerative effect on these citizens, causing their physical All right. So we can definitely grapple upwards. Can definitely grapple upwards they are certain danger. and get Roby once it hits the fan. Um, so, how about we're trying to let the loss do their thing. You can see uh, the mere existence of the loss begins to drain willpower. You can see that with the little bar down here where at 90 three points already Confirmed. Go, go, go. yeah I don't want to risk getting revealed we're instead just going to take really Small and solid move. Can we get up here? No, we cannot, but we theoretically could grapple up here. But whether or not that is yes, Commander. going to reveal us remains to be seen. So this here should not reveal us. Ooh, the loss and the hive on the same uh, mission all oh, this is just become so much more intense so next turn i can uh, free roby that gives us a fifth uh, soldier on that mission they should attack one another lost brood hits for six to seven points of damage 90 percent uh, chance to hit well, I do have uh, the slight hope that the Lost are immune to poison. But you never know how it turns out. This might become an Armageddon. Alright, Lost, lost holer, uh, Howlers are hitting for 4 to 5 points of damage. That is a one-shot, mind you. The amount of enemies and uh, just their ability to dish out damage already becomes quite concerning, shall I say. Think about it. We're in mission number 3 and almost everything in here so far is very much capable of one shotting us. We have a visual confirmation on the VIP. Remember, getting that VIP to the extraction point supersedes all other priorities. Don't well, my priority at the moment, uh, Bradford, is just to survive. It's nothing more, but also nothing less. Good, Roby just got his nice little uh, image taken. Uh, where's the other contact? Ebert is all the way back there. Okay, cool. So, one of the things that is absolutely clear is that if we're staying up here, we're going to be toast. They are fighting downstairs. This here is one of the few locations um, where, where it will be semi-safe for us, so... I am suggesting we're continuing our advance here. I'm on it. And that little Roby rescue mission so far is turning out to be decent. I don't know what the aliens are doing downstairs, but I can tell you one chrysalid already got uh, squashed. Not sure if the losts and the chrysalids are taking steps at one another, but... Best case scenario, 
they just mutilate each other and we have less enemies to deal with. Worst case scenario, we have a lot of chrysalids in it to deal with in the very near future. All right, careful, careful, Saiken. That's affirmative. Our idea would be to get through this balcony, somehow get Divert. Might be able to get him by splitting off Grell, but the problem is we're moving through Crawford's area the moment that we do that. Uh, the mission around um, Crawford will trigger and we will need to exit him plus worms will be starting to spawn so I don't want that to happen how are we getting all the way over to Diva is the question the answer is potentially demon again who's just gonna move all the way up here this is a tense situation. I typically don't like to bypass enemies and we will have a shootout, don't worry. That is completely without a question. But I'm trying to prolong the inevitable. All right, of course. This is the AI cheating a little bit um they had no reason to move in but yeah nonetheless of course they are they have now found out that, that we're here sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. Okay, well, we do have a problem, Houston. We got one of those really big, juicy, fat problems. Okay. Remember how I mentioned just a second ago that you don't have to worry that there is going to be a fight because we're going to get into a fight. Damn right. Uh, this is now the time where that is going to happen. Lots and lots and lots and lots of losts. So we got to do what we got to do, which is block this here. Then move up here. Menace one five, you've got the primary targets in tow. Secure any additional operatives if possible, but make sure you get our contacts to the evac point. Oh yeah, we're going to make sure that that is going to happen, don't worry. So we can and should potentially position ourselves up here. Still need to get one more soldier. So let's block this off. We're going to trigger far, far more enemies. <laughs> that was about uh, how many chrysalids? Oh. <laughs> 
This is so unbelievably unfair. All right, moving up. I want to get in the right direction, sonar. Starts killing <clears throat> one of those horror zombies. Could theoretically charge over and uh, free free our operative there. All right, it's all about action economy now because uh, this year is completely ridiculous. Chrysalid Hive Drone, hello. Well, we could definitely try to move over there. This would be an option. <clears throat> Grapple over, move here, and then just take a stand. But I don't know if the drones, uh, if uh, the chrysalids can jump up if that is the case we're actually effed only one way to find out i suppose block this off <clears throat> These little rippers. Problem is, if I'm using uh, frag grenades, I'm just increasing the spawn timer for the loss and make it worse for us, right? Okay, so at least they are fighting one another. That's great. All right, go ahead. Yes, baby. That's what I like to see. Some of the losts are dying. Some of these guys are dying. Uh, this massive brute here seems to start to boil. And yeah, that answers the question. We just can't continue to stay there. Looks like they called in backup. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, that guy is still standing and he looks like he's not to be trifled well he looks like he's dead no divot can't let him go down and another lost swarm appears like oh wow how many ten There's a lost boomer downstairs, that's dangerous. No. 
He's howling for more. Oh. What is a reflex action? Enemies moving on our position. Okay. Okay. There are no additional VIPs or resistance operatives working in that area. The Ripper ripped Should the other guy? I think it it really seems to be a free for all at this point. Anyways, I got to get to the next appointment. We'll give it a pause here. Uh, I'll be back uh, in a, in a few moments. But this is absolutely crazy. This is so out of control. Uh, and it's just mission number four, uh, three actually. All right, uh, guys, thank you so much. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, and back in business. Remember, do you know when you are leaving a task uh, to the side, one of the things um, that you weren't particularly uh, fond of doing, such as getting yourself out of a big seeming pile of uh, poo poo, like this one here, and you come back to the task and it's even worse than you remember. That's exactly how the situation is. Fantastic. So we got ourselves in a bit of a troublesome uh, situation, may I say, and that would be an understatement, as we indeed have a problem here. We got Divad who is close to getting down. Got a couple of uh, rippers, one, one chrysalid ripper to be precise, and a lost. I wonder if we get up here, position ourselves just nicely, if we could at least block them and next turn try to move over and get out of here it's not perfect but it's good enough to let that lost um, deal with uh, the chrysalid so we're moving up and of course we could use a grenade but that would even produce more loss which we cannot afford at that point we got a boomer down down there and i definitely need to deal with them but since we do have healing heal. might as well start with that all right we've just seen the boomer is standing right downstairs we move to here potentially not a bad idea gives us a bit more of an angle uh, to clean this out and the moment that that is cleaned out we can move up because the problem is uh, as we stand Grell here is basically trapped the moment that she leaves her post that entire upper section here is up for grabs from the enemies. So how about Sonar? Moves over. And we got quite a few chrysalids. Lost. And a dasher. Hmm. I wonder why we can't hit these guys. Boomer has basically three hit points. I mean, look, what we could do. We could potentially try to throw a grenade over. But I can already tell this is going to be a bad idea. Now we, we wouldn't be able to reach them. That's unfortunate. Can we reach them from here? I think the answer is yes. I'm trusting you here. Let's 
The answer is unfortunately no. Uh, they see they have just disappeared from sight. Okay, well, we are in a bit of a tough spot here. Uh, let's block this window so that the chrysalids can't jump up through the window. I think they might be able to still jump up here on the balcony, but okay, we're going to find that out. At least that one window is being blocked. Okay, and the main idea now is to just take as many enemies off the field as humanly possible. Can't really hit the chrysalid there, but we could overwatch, which is a decent start. This guy has four hit points. Okay, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. The guy has four hit points, so we might. Oh no, we don't want to uh, pull a hive drone. That's three to four hit points. Okay, we cannot we cannot uh, uh, justice pull the the chrysalids. That's unfortunate. Good, which means we got to deal with the chance of not being able to kill them. Luckily, we're able to defend our position there. All right, Diva, Overwatches. And like I said, I think maybe we're leaving this lost for the enemies for now. The Howler is another problem. It deals a lot of damage. Yeah, let's just start hitting this guy. It's almost down. Grell takes an overwatch, and I think we're reloading with Toxic. They still have enough targets to fight each other. Wow. They have such a long range. I still don't understand the chrysalid versus chrysalid thing, but maybe two mods are somewhat conflicting with one another. These guys for sure are a problem. All right, the overwatch with a pistol worked well. Yeah, and now it is the Lost's turn. Killing the little chrysalid drones. Nice. <laughs> oh, but the hive is, is fighting back. This is a... A slaughterhouse. I'm not sure which of the sides is going to win, but it appears to me as if the um, chrysalids are slightly taking the upper hand here. Just 
Good. So we got this side here sort of cleared. There is yeah, still enemies, but um, Demon has a good position, and I would leave him there. Three hit points isn't great, but it isn't bad either. We could use another heal if need be. I think we gotta deal with the losts now, specifically with the dashers. So let's take the shotgun shots. That's one, two, three down there. So say if if we could hit again, that's one, two, three. Okay, so if we could hit those three, that should be three for three. It's triggering more loss, specifically since the, uh, since the car has now started. There's a boomer. Ugh. Don't like this uh, at all. The boomer will explode. The ripper unfortunately had four hit points and did not fully die. But we got to reload at this point. Reloading, hungering down. I think we're just going to go for the dashers because if my memory serves me well, the ABA mod had modified them so that they can climb walls, which means those uh, need to die first. Grell is overwatching and let's hope that, that is going to be enough. So it is burning, shouldn't be able to attack. <sighs> Not sure where that guy was coming from. That was a nasty attack. That was a really, really nasty attack. The Hive is a bit more of a problem than the losses are at the moment. And unfortunately, the... The Hive seems to uh, be way more mobile than the Lost, so the typical uh, stand on a balcony tactics just don't really work with them. Potentially more enemies are coming up. This guy is burning, so he's going to go down. This guy has one hit point. So there you go. that's a kill. The other one is burning and let's continue to heal. Gremlin, get on the heels. Divat continues to tank them. Can't let that boomer up here. Good, we're reloading and let's get the loss. As many of them as possible. A 
I wish we could use grenades, but that just doesn't fly. Oh, it was a lost brute that has uh, uh, that had gotten us, but I have really not seen him. I'm not even sure where he was coming from. Ten hit points, six damage. So even if we would have healed, that guy would have just completely massacred us. Wow. Good, we're overwatching, hunkering down. Okay, I'll go. I need to get the uh, get rid of the dashers, specifically the ones with more hit points. ones that we can't kill with a uh, sword rifle. Good. Divot looks fine. Not sure where those little buggers are always coming from. But yeah, those the hive drone and oh, it, it was a hive drone. Yeah, three to four damage. Uh, the healing would have would have helped, but not solved the problem. I feel quite outgunned. It seems that everybody else has way more power than we do. <laughs> he hits for 10. All right, and they are giving giving the uh, the chrysalid a hard time as well. Alien reinforcements inbound. It seems the small ones continue to be coming. Not sure if these are always the same two little rippers. No clue. Wow. That all you got? Okay, we need, yeah, we need to move. Like this here is getting ridiculous. This looks a little ugly. Is there a way for Diva to just get out of this mess? Problem is, these guys do have as much range as we do, maybe even more. I need to hope that that is going to solve the problem. There is a multitude of enemies standing up here, and I don't really know how to deal with them. The, this guy here is even one-shotting us, so that's a huge problem as is. And I can't afford to pull more. The losses are maybe not the problem, the dashers might be... So how about we're getting the dashers and then next turn we're just dashing to here ish and are trying to run out. We will maybe lose a few soldiers but I just cannot see how we're continuing to just stand here and deal with these guys. Specifically the chrysalids seem to continue to spawn. I'm not sure what I need to do in order to stop that. But yeah, the mechanic seems to be they get an extra reflex round and 
I'm not sure. I'm. It seems as if there are even like two different factions of uh, Hive installed. And so far, we have even hit all of our shots. I wouldn't say that the positioning was off either. So, actually, was a re reasonably, reasonably good. Um, engagement there's still a guy downstairs but i can't afford to stay here any longer so we gotta give that up he might be able to run all the way up to here hopefully not further than that ignoring the rippers for now Let's get the Desher. Good, VIP moves up. I'm just trying to block as much as I can here. Let's hope the Boomer can't just move up, explode and kill all four. That would be a huge loss, but even if that was to happen, uh, this position is a lost one. The enemies are too strong for us at this point. Okay, so Divat has pulled some interest in his direction. That brute is a huge problem. The lost in a strange way, I was about to say, in a strange way would have helped us because uh, they have blocked the way and might be a target. Nope, not happening. That lost brood is a massive problem. But having more losts will be an even bigger problem. So we gotta ignore them. I'm wondering where the least issues would be. We're moving up here and just taking the high ground, blocking that entrance. Got a few lost here. You might be able to kill them. Let's try that. I'm concerned about that super big lost. This guy would need to die. Very good. Okay, let's go. Moving up. It's a bit close to these guys. Alright, the VIP... Moves ahead. I'm still cautious 
when it comes to that big guy. Closing the entrance there. Don't want to explode the boomer yet. Alright, let's get this guy down and... There should be at least a two for one, if not three for one. I think there was another loss there. But we will spawn another pack of loss, unfortunately. Still worth it. We can run through them. Okay, well, it's not looking good. It is not looking good. I mean, the one thing that becomes absolute evident that the World War Z mod plus the No Lost Headshot mod together are creating a bit of an unsolvable challenge at the moment. Okay, the Lost Brute finally has made its way up here. Still chrysalids, they are the worst. Well, fantastic. Now that guy has just blocked off, I think, the only route that we had. We could still jump down and uh, move through the downstairs way. Okay, so it's one of those situations where... We're so, so outmatched at this point that I'm accepting some people will die. It's not the VIP. Uh, we're going to get Kelly out of here. But not everybody is going to make it. Could have used a sword attack. Uh, that would have... Uh, killed that um, loss there. Good, and now it's really up in the air whether or not we're going to make it. Mimic Beacon would have been the perfect choice, but... Maybe or um, they are actually focusing the chrysalids. Who knows? We already lost two soldiers, so this is definitely going to be a non-successful mission. The only question is how non-successful is it going to be? All right, that is number three. Oh, look at that. They become zombies themselves. Even more. 
The problem is I just can't withstand the amount of uh, damage that we are receiving. And we have no reliable way of AoE damage that wouldn't pull even more losses. So you're fighting a losing battle. I was trying to minimize the exposure of the loss and just get, say, four or five of them down every single round so uh, that we eventually would have gotten ahead of the curve. But the Chrysalid Rippers are coming. Wonderful. Are coming. And this is just spawning one swarm after the other. I guess that'll be okay. Roby moves um, to here. Avenges his friends. Grand moves up. And how about we're just we getting the hell out of here? Ready to boogie. So, was that overall a successful mission? I don't know, you decide. It certainly was a problematic one and one that sets the tone for the entire campaign. So, we traded essentially one squatty for an engineer. Rating fair. Okay. We traded one uh, squatty for an engineer. Essentially, we lost uh, the skirmisher. That's quote unquote not a big loss because we would easily be able to get that back by a new recruitment mission, even in a higher quality. We lost the LMG, which is not replaceable, uh, and lost our best grenadier. That hurts quite a bit we lost steve uh a world-class sniper but that is fine as well however diva and the, uh, one ranger would have been bonus on this mission so effectively we got net minus one which is uh the skirmisher and that is not too bad I don't want to rationalize that that was a great mission. It wasn't, but... It was also not the end of the world. Sometimes you just have a rough start and I'm always preaching continue. We got 100 intel. And we got ourselves a new uh, ranger as well. So minus one, plus one. It wasn't an engineer, it was a scientist and that's okay. The scientist actually makes it uh, quite uh, quite a positive trade overall. So we have an interesting team, right? We have sharpshooter, sharpshooter specialist. Specialist is out for a while. Two rangers. We definitely need grenadiers. Quite a quite a few. So the moment that we do have a guerrilla tactic school, that is what we're going to do. Oh boy, that was a, a pretty messed up mission. Uh, seven days for a soldier, that could be Avengers anything really. The game realizes it has uh, dealt us a serious blow, so it now wants to cuddle and be friends again. I, think you I accept your apology and uh, please give us a grenadier. Power relay construction. Nah, that's not needed. Magnetic weapons down to 30 days. Let's go for hybrid materials really quickly and then maybe experimental weapon. Yeah. Hybrid materials and then potentially magnetic weapons. Good. We do have enough intel, so we could establish contact. Um, it's not going to be fast enough for the end of uh, the month. So let's rather get the soldier. 
and a resistance ring would be helpful so yes please we already talked about that continuing to excavate I'm letting the buildings build alone that way we can parallelize as much of the work as possible and it's overall more efficient Good. I think all of the other options considered, we might want to go for magnetic weapons. 30 days is not fantastic, but it's not the worst ever. We're actually quite fast on the research track so far. Two scientists for the first month are fantastic on legendary. And we got another specialist. Oh, look at that. Inappropriate Murphy just joined. <laughs> this campaign is going to be fun. Ah, let's take a look at him. Inappropriate Murphy. Coming to work with uh, zero safety precaution and uh, the shorts that he's always wearing. Plus, I imagine him walking to the Sky Ranger and telling kind of one of his inappropriate jokes. And making the female staff uncomfortable. It's been only a few hours, uh, Murphy, but we already got two reports of your misbehavior. Wonderful. Okay, so all jokes aside, I think we're making contact. As that will help us to get a second mission and more income. And we got a retaliation side. Fantastic. So, Operation Holy Witch uh, with a new objective which is called Hive Swarm Siege. Oh, this is not sounding like something I would be enjoying. but maybe we can actually pull it off so uh, there is the problem inappropriate murphy is the only healer that we do have available that is a problem okay fair enough well I suppose he still gets the mad kid and our best wishes. Let's hope he can pull it off. Is there anything else we can do? 44 supplies really doesn't buy us a whole lot other than a warm handshake. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if I look at our situation in the mad bay, Sonar is tired, so can't really take him. We desperately need more Grenadiers, so it's actually going to be Sharpshooter, Specialist Ranger and kind of a rookie. And uh, we need to hope that one of uh, these guys is becoming a Grenadier, because uh, currently the distribution of classes is 2-2-2. Two, two, and, two, and Grenadiers, which can be argued to be one of the more important early game classes, are completely missing. Okay, anyways, that's the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the absolute curb stomp of uh, these missions, then leave a like down below and tell me what you like most about the series, which is your favorite mod. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.